What's up? It's Hair Jordan, and today we're gonna talk about money. I feel like this is an appropriate time because I just recently quit my job to be a full-time YouTuber. I was always curious before because I watch a lot of YouTubers who don't have millions of subscribers or anything like that, and I was always wondering, like, do they do that full-time or do they have a job and make videos on the side? I never really knew, and it didn't seem like anybody really talked about it in detail. So I thought this would be a good video to make. Not to mention people ask me about it too, like, do you do this? Like, how do you make money? with YouTube, whatever. I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to say about how much I make from YouTube, but I'll tell you this, it's not enough to live on. What I make from AdSense does not pay my bills. Not even close, actually. And so there's other things I have to do to make money. I have like 93,000 subscribers at the time of this filming. I get like a million and a half views per month. So that's how much views I'm getting. The average, the YouTube average that you make from ads is like $1 per thousand views. For a million and a half views in a month, that would be like $1,500. And that would be almost enough for me to live off for the month. Like, pretty much. Um, but I don't get a dollar per thousand views. I don't even get close to that. It's like way low. And I just joined a YouTube network and they're supposed to help me get more. I just joined, but I won't really know till I get paid. So my emo reaction videos started taking off and then I started making some money. And then I went on the Yalta tour and met YouTubers that helped doing collabs, you know, and it just snowballed from there. Two months ago, I, I toured with Social Repose on the Yalta tour and that helped my channel grow a lot because I met a lot of YouTubers who were quite bigger than me and got to collab with some of them. And then, uh, you know, just made friendships and then I got to go back and collab with some more of them. Just, you know, meeting people. You know, that helped my channel grow tremendously. Because before that, I was making hardly any money at all on YouTube. I just wasn't getting very many views. So that helped a lot. Social repose was a big, was a big factor in, in all of this. And, uh, and so was Brian Stars. You know, we became friends and he helped me a lot. So before, I was working a full-time job and I was in college full-time. And then I had a part-time job on the side. And then I was doing YouTube on the side. So I had like a lot going on. I'm an adult, you know, I'm in college. I have to pay rent. I have my own bills and whatever, just being a, a grown up. So I was working a lot and you know, I knew I was gonna be going on tour with him for like a month. You know, I was taking time off of work to do that. So I worked a lot extra to save up money. That's how I did it. I wasn't living off my YouTube when I went on tour with Social Repose. I was living off money I had saved up. I was working overtime plus a second job to save up money so I could tour and meet other YouTubers, you know? It wasn't easy. And then uh, after that tour, I went home for two weeks and I worked like crazy for those two weeks, like 60 hours a week. And then I left, I flew out to LA to collab with some more YouTubers, um, which I've already put the videos out, you know, cause there's no YouTubers who live in Indiana except Victoria. And then I went on another tour with Whitney Payton. So I was working to pay for everything. And then I, my channel just started blowing up, I guess. And I get all kinds of views now, but it's still not enough to pay my bills, even, even now. So there's some other ways that I make money too from being on social media that helps me pay my bills. Otherwise I would have to work. And when I did work, I was working all the time and I was in school and I only had one day a week where I could even film YouTube videos. And I had about a four hour block of time and that was it. The, the whole week I had four hours. And so I would sit down for four hours and make, I would usually try to make three videos because I was only uploading like three times a week, sometimes less than that. And, uh, and then I would just edit those three videos throughout the week whenever I had, you know, a little bit of free time. It was crazy. And uh, it sucked. And I didn't even have time to sleep some days because I was just like doing so much. But I did it. And uh, now things are a lot different. Now I make like, se and now instead of making two or three videos a week, I make seven videos a week. I try to make a video every day. Sometimes I miss. That's huge. I love making videos. It's been awesome. So some of the other ways that I make money from this is um, my online merch store. That That's really cool. I sell a couple items a week from that from you guys supporting me, buying t-shirts, buying Skype calls. Uh, you know, some people were like, why you sell Skype calls? You know, when I started selling them, it's like, dude, I had no time. I couldn't just be Skyping people all the time. I didn't even have time to make YouTube videos, you know? So my merch store, so selling merch. We're speaking of merch. I'm wearing a Broken Side t-shirt. Shout out to Broken Side. I love those guys so much, BC13. They're like seriously one of my favorite bands and they're really cool guys. I'm like friends with them now. It's amazing, it's incredible. But yeah, so no, they did not sponsor this video telling me to tell you guys to check out their brand new album. <laughs> I just legitimately love it and love them. But uh, oh yeah, so I make money from my merch store. I also have just like, 
a month and a half ago started making money from you now. They offered me a partnership because my cha YouTube channel was growing so fast. So I make a little bit of money from that and it helps, but it's still not enough to live off of. You know, with my YouTube, my merch store, and you now, those things are not enough for me to live off of. And I did a hushed call event that helped a little bit of money for me, but still, I can't pay all my bills with that and buy food and pay rent and cell phone and everything, you know? And so the last thing that I make money from is, is sponsorships and that's pretty new for me. I just started getting sponsorship offers a couple weeks ago and uh, you know just be like oh yeah shout out to Best Fiends this video is sponsored by them and what and show you the game and they pay me for that and uh, all of those four things combined my AdSense my merch store you now and sponsorships it all adds up and together when I do all four of them it's actually enough it's enough for me to live off of. And uh, that's huge because that's, for me, what that looks like is that's the difference between me working all the time and only making three videos a week and rushing to get those three videos done. That's the difference between that and what I do now, which is like seven videos. I can make a video every day, you know? And I don't have to rush and I get to sleep at night if I want to. Wow. This is amazing, you know? And and now it can free me up if I wanna travel and collab with more YouTubers. I don't have to work 60 hours at a job to be able to buy my plane ticket, to be able to take a week off of work to go collab with people, you know? Because now, if I do those things, it's, it's enough. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how much you can make from YouTube. My life has changed because like I said, three months ago I was making hardly anything from my channel. So I'm making a living full time and I don't even have 100,000 subscribers yet. But not everybody with this many subscribers makes a living. I know some people personally who have as many subscribers as I do and they they still work a full-time job It just depends one thing is I make videos every day So I get more views and my since everything has been blowing up lately I get kind of a lot of views per video So if you're if you're a youtuber or thinking about being a youtuber and you're just curious of like how much people make Or maybe you're just like to watch YouTube and you're just curious like yeah This was never my full-time job until recently and now it is and I'm so appreciative you guys you guys are it you guys are the reason that my life has changed forever. And I'm so happy. And I'm so excited too. I've only been home from tour for like a week. And I was sick for like several days of it. So like now I'm like starting to feel better, get healthy again. And now I'm like, wow, okay. For the first time in my life, I can just get up and I can just make videos. And this is my job, you know? This is crazy. Now I can make such cool content. And I can put so much more into this. It's kind of nervous about having sponsored videos. Like I wasn't sure how people would react. But overall, nobody seemed to mind. And I, and I want to be careful because I don't want to just like flood my channel with sponsored content. You know, oh, every video is sponsored now that he does. I don't want it to be like that. But since I upload every day, it's like what? Once a week, I have a video where I shout out some app. If that's going to pay my bills for me and allow me to make a video every day instead of making videos like once a week, then I don't, I don't see a problem with it. And it seems like nobody else has been bothered by it too much either. You know, a couple of people have said some things, but in reality, it's either that and make a video every day, or it's just don't make videos at all, except maybe once a week, whenever I can, you know? That's, that's, that's the reality of it, because I do not make enough money from AdSense. I do not make enough money from you now, from my merch. Um, I just don't have enough viewers yet. And that's fine, and I'm not trying to beg for anything more, but when I have sponsored stuff in my videos, I do make enough, and I can live off of it, and it's crazy. You know, I, make it, I can make just enough. You know, I'd like to live somewhere like L.A. so I could collab with, with my YouTuber friends there, you know, all the time and hang out with them more, but an apartment there is literally four to five times the price of what I pay here in Indiana. I would have to make a lot more money to move there. Like, it's cheap here. That's why I can live off of what I make from YouTube. That's part of it too, is keeping your expenses low. So yeah, that's it. That's, in a nutshell, how much a small, mid-sized YouTuber can make if you work it right. It's a lot of work, you know? I gotta talk back and forth with these companies a couple times before I even make the sponsored video, they have to approve it. I get emails all the time and then I have to decide which ones are worth it and which ones aren't. Actually, that's probably the biggest, the biggest thing is uh, with sponsored videos. That takes a lot of time and energy and it's pretty draining to me. I I'm looking forward to the day when I get enough views that I don't have to do sponsored videos anymore. It's kind of time consuming to find sponsorships and negotiate and all that stuff and I don't like it. I, I just want to make the videos, but I can't afford to right now. If I don't do these sponsored videos, then I have to work a job, either that or I can't can't pay my internet bill or my electric bill or my cell phone bill, you know, all this stuff that I need to do. So that's it. If you guys have any other questions related to this, let me know. I'll try to answer as best I can. Hopefully this gave you a good idea of whatever the heck I was just talking about. I don't even know. Thank you so much for watching my videos. You guys, you guys have changed my life. And, uh,
I would not be able to do this without you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate all of you. You're the best.